Aaron Archer, I'm Senior Design Director, and I oversee the Transformers universe for Hasbro. Everyone knows that Optimus leads the Autobots and Megatron leads the Decepticons, and they've battled for years, whether it be on Earth or in space or on Cybertron, but we never really started at the root of that conflict. It's a really unique time and place for the story, so that's really where we started. <laughs> Megatron is the hero of the story, or at least that's what he'll tell you. He will do whatever it takes to get Cybertron back to what he thinks of as the golden age of Cybertron. Starscream is not a Decepticon when this story starts, and by the end of the first level, he says, you know what, I'm in, I wanna be a Decepticon. What we come to find out across the course of the story is why Megatron keeps him as his second-hand man. For me, it's one of the most exciting story points that we tell in, in the whole story. With the Autobot campaign, we begin the story where Megatron is poised to take over Cybertron, and Optimus is not the guy in charge. He is kind of a field commander who has self-promoted himself to take up this mantle of defending their homeworld because nobody else is left. And so he's gathering guys to help him. One of the first guys to sign up under Optimus' banner is Bumblebee. And seeing that kind of happen and how those two colossal characters in the Transformer lore meet up, sign up and ultimately become friends and comrades through all time happens very early in our campaign. I think this game is visually stunning and plays out this great story and great characters in a way that uh, even, even I'm very impressed with.